Hello, and welcome to prayer time. This month, we will be basing our Sunday school lessons off Psalm 23. Now, Psalm 23 is one of the most well-known pieces of scripture in the entire Bible. David, who wrote it, compares God to a shepherd. Do you know what a shepherd is? A shepherd is someone who takes care of sheep. And now David was a shepherd, so he knew what this meant quite personally. Because when he was little, you know, maybe only 12 years old, he would spend time in the wilderness taking care of his father's sheep. And so he thought of God in those terms because God has many of the characteristics that a shepherd has. He takes care of us. So our prayer today is going to be based on Psalm 23 as well. Let's pray. God, thank you for taking care of us as a shepherd. Thank you for providing us with all we need. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for being so kind to us. Please bless my parents, my friends, my teachers and family. Keep them safe during this very confusing time when we all have to stay at home. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks for praying. Hi. Let's light this candle to begin our time together. And if you have a candle at home, maybe you can light it as well. Just get an adult to help you with that. We light this candle as a symbol of the light of Christ, which shines in each one of us. We are a community of faith, together and apart. Here we seek connection to God, who we believe in and who believes in us. We know God is love. We know Christ's light is forever. Thank you, God, that you are with us. Amen. You might have other ones at home, or you could use stickers on a piece of paper, or you could even color it in if you wanted and just make little shapes along the way to make a bookmark. I have some string, and I tied a clear bead to the end of it. So I'm going to use a different color bead for each part of Psalm 23, which is what we've been working on, just so I can remember it. First one I'm going to put on is a white. Thank you. 
show you what we've got up. You need a collection of these and a string. Now, you can also use stickers on a bookmark if you want, or you could color over a piece of wax paper. That would be really pretty. Here are the colors I'm going to use. The first line is, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I'm going to use white for that one. He makes me lie down in green pastures. I'm going to use a green bee for that one. That's easy. He leads me to still waters. What color do you think I should use for that one? I, you're right. I think I'll use blue. I'm going to use some sort of blue. He restores my soul. I think I could use white for that, but I'm going to use clear. So I have some. Even though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me always. I'm going to use black for that one. Your rod and staff comfort me. I'm going to use a brown for that one. I have some. That reminds me of the shepherd's crook. Prepare a table before me, before my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. I'm going to use the green. Red one for that. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all of my days. I'm going to use purple for that. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I'm going to seal that one off with a white and then another clear. There you go. You can use these, this prayer bead chain as a bookmark, like I said, or you could turn it into a longer string and make things look really short, or you could just use it for praying. Use it in a safe spot near your bed, in your room, and you can use it every night to remember the Psalm 23 that we're referring to. Enjoy! The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He gives me rest in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He gives me strength when I am weak. He leads me where I need to go. Even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff, they comfort me. You prepare a meal for me, even with my enemies at the same table. You anoint my head with the oil of blessing. My cup of blessing overflows completely. Surely, goodness and mercy shall be mine all the days of my life, and I will dwell in God's house forever. The Lord is my shepherd. 
have everything I need. He gives me rest in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He gives me strength when I am weak. He leads me where I need to go. Even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff, they comfort me. You prepare a meal for me even with my enemies at the same table. You anoint my head with your oil of blessing. My cup of blessing overflows completely. Surely goodness and mercy shall be mine. All the days of my life. And I will live in God's house forever.